So what is going on guys, I'm Black Ops Amazing, welcome back to another video on the channel where today I kind of wanted to take it back to a few videos, I wouldn't call it a series, that I used to make years and years ago, I'm talking about the Black Ops 2 days, the very beginning, actually even before that between BO1 and BO2, I did a ton of theory videos on maps that I would love to see within Call of Duty Zombies, and funnily enough me going back to take a look at those older videos, some of them did actually turn out to become maps that were made by Treyarch. Some of the ideas that I and the rest of the community wanted for Zombies maps during that time were ones such as World War One, which we eventually got with Origins. A map that takes place in Egypt was always a big one, which we kind of did get with Nine, but not really. Yes, it was in the country, but the idea that everyone envisioned was having the map take place around the pyramids and you were able to go inside of them. And especially because the Illuminati was a big part of the zombie story back then, that with the pyramids would have made for a really cool addition to the story. For the longest time everybody wanted a Paris map which we know we were supposed to get, it was supposed to be Moon, but that got scrapped, I doubt we'll ever be getting that again, along with loads of other ideas and one of those that I've wanted because I guess more so because it's my own country is a London Zombies map and I don't mean because we do have examples that we can take from multiplayer maps or campaign missions. Plenty of COD games have had missions that take place in London especially the Modern Warfare series or there's MP maps to go off such as Piccadilly, Underground, Ducks. London has always been a big feature in Call of Duty just never in Zombies which to me has always been disappointing. I always imagined Big Ben, the Houses of Parliament, all of the buildings around that area, expanding the map even more to include some of the old Roman architecture. And at one time, who knows, maybe this will still become a thing in the future, hopefully, but we all thought we were getting a London Zombies map. And the reason for that was is because in Derizen Dracker, there is an Easter egg where in the control room, you can find a newspaper. And if you use the upgraded plunger to kill zombies nearby it, it sort of charges the newspaper, I guess. And the more zombies you kill, eventually, over time, the newspaper will change and it will show future events as it goes forward in time. So this is the newspaper, what it looks like normally. The headline reads, huge parade in London. There is a picture of a massive crowd and it says large turnout for parade. If you kill zombies nearby this newspaper using the upgraded plunger, the newspaper article will then change to say, reports of zombie attacks in London, officials not confirming. And then if you kill a few more zombies by it, it will change for the final time to say, zombie attack in the heart of London. And we have this image. Now if you are quite familiar to zombies you will know that this is actually an image of Shadows of Evil. It's supposed to show zombies in London. But why this easter egg was always so weird was because well this map Dresden Dracker takes place in Austria. What relation does that have to a zombie attack in London? A map that we've never gotten in COD Zombies? And the second question that you could ask is well why does it change? Why when you kill zombies nearby it does it show the progress of an undead outbreak in London and the theory was that these zombies that you're killing near the newspaper are getting I guess somewhat teleported to London. These zombies that you kill near this paper in Derizon cause the zombie outbreak to begin in London in some other weird alternate universe traveling through time. So because this easter egg appeared on Derizon Dracker which was the first DLC map for Black Ops 3 we thought that maybe this is a hint that in DLC 2, 3, maybe 4, somewhere later on down the line that we're going to get a London map in zombies but that obviously never came to be. We have had maps or a map that has taken place in the UK, Dead of the Night, that was in England but not London. And we have also had Revelations, which whilst the map we play doesn't take place in London, it's in Argotha. The house, just this portion of it, was originally in England before it ended up in Argotha. And this is confirmed to us because if you look at the alternate loading screen that we have for Revelations, down the bottom right hand corner we can see our characters teleporting from what looks like... Europe, around that area, Russia, actually Stalingrad more than likely because the map previous to Revelations was Gorod Karovi which was in Stalingrad and if you match this location up to the map it's pretty much near Stalingrad and it shows them teleporting from there to the UK, to England, down the south more than likely London where the Primus and Ultimus characters arrive in front of Dr. Monty's house. So we have had maps that have taken place in England but never one in London and like I said this has always been pretty disappointing to me because looking at Maps that we've had, multiplayer maps, docks in World War II with the bridge in the background, a 1940s London map for zombies would be really cool, or more so Modern Warfare 3's campaign mission where we have Parliament and Big Ben. This whole area I think would make for a sick zombies map. I just can't really think of the last time we had a proper zombies map set in the city, usually they're in, I don't know, Group 935 bases or out in the countryside, deserts, 
prisons. We don't really have big built up urban areas like this. The last one I can think of was Shadows of Evil and there's not too many maps like this. Of course, Troyarch, if they did a London map, could get it totally wrong and I don't know, place the zombies map in a location like Piccadilly, which is cool, but I think something like this where you have big buildings to look up to, they really could zombify a location like this. I would love it and I actually remember years and years ago back when Mod Tools first released for BO3, which was what was it like 2017 or something but there was someone called sir jammy that i remember this guy was making a old london docks map it was one of the first custom bo3 zombies maps i saw and coincidentally also the best one i saw as well but it never released just looking at the gameplay i will leave the link to his channel down in the description it gives you an idea of what an old london zombies map would feel like in the docks even this which isn't my idea of what i'd do for a london map still looks so so good this guy hasn't been heard from for a few years now and the last time we had any updates for this actual zombies map was about four years ago it never released as far as i'm aware so i think we can just assume it never will it seems like it's an unfinished project but from the looks of it a lot of work got done it looks awesome i don't know why it was never finished but it gives you a good idea of what an old london zombies map would look like Personally, I'd go with the more modern times, or at least the 70s, the 80s, just because I think there's a bit more to play off. If you're going with the older times, you usually have the more grittier tone to go along with that. But something like this, I'd love. Whether it will happen, whether it makes sense in COD Zombies now at this point, I would say yes for the latter. As has always been the case in Call of Duty Zombies, Troyot can make up any excuse to go to any place in the world during any time. We have teleportation, time travel, so... Any map, anywhere is a possibility and can be made sense of. I just don't know with the way that Zombies has gone that it would ever happen now. But never say never and to be honest, even this MW3 mission, I'd let Troyot just take everything from this, rip this location from MW3 and turn it into a Zombies map. Add in some cool lights, obviously zombie spawn points. And it isn't just London, there are so many locations I'd love to go in Zombies. As I said in the beginning, Egypt around the pyramids, Rome around the Colosseum. We've been to Greece with Ancient Evil, but there are plenty of more places in Greece that would be really cool to go to. I think there are so many epic zombies maps that Treyarch could make, so hopefully we get a few more in the future. We've had plenty already, we've also had some not so good ones, but with zombies, you can go anywhere. You can have any map. So yeah, there we go. Kind of a random video, something that I used to do an awful lot, just come up with map ideas and talk about it but let me know what you guys think and let me know any map ideas that you have in the comment section below i'd be interested to read them and i don't know if they're good maybe we can talk about them in a video so there we go let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always hopefully you've enjoyed today if you have drop a like rating make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with related content on the channel thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one until then goodbye